Before we begin, I just want to say a huge thank you to all the channel members. What's up, YouTube? It's Louis here. Hope you're all well. Today we'll be looking at quant, but first of all, on the weekly time frame, we can actually see that we have had a weekly close back above these EMAs. That is a bullish sign, but we're going to get into that in a bit more detail to understand that we are still actually under very key resistances. So, th so this is essentially just the first step. Just as we pumped above the EMAs over here on the weekly time frame, flipping things bullish for months essentially, this is the weekly time frame. Very quickly, we can hit a month in four candles because four weeks, you know, almost a month or yeah, roughly a month. But um, that was just the first step. We need to come back down, confirm it as a weekly reversal. So we were in this weekly downtrend formed of this weekly bearish cross. Now we have a bullish one because we reclaimed the EMAs, confirm it as support and we're out of here. We did not confirm it as support. You're correctively coming back into this. You've you've reclaimed it. So it you, you've gone through it as resistance. However, right next to us over here, one, three, four, that's a resistance over here at one, five, six. You can see here, We'll just say this psychological level 150 over here. And then you've got some resistance uh, around 169. So, but we'll go into that in a bit more detail when we turn on the drawings. There we go. Now it starts to look a bit more scary because yeah, all of this over here is just key resistance. So if we head over to the daily time frame now, we were waiting uh, over the weekend. We were essentially saying, now you've broken out of this uh, small range above the 200 EMA. It's a signal we're going to go to the 55, but understand this, the 55 at $130 is going to be resistance. And for four days now, this is the fourth, fourth day. So let's just say confirmed three days now, for three days, these past one, two, three candles, it has remained below this resistance, confirming it as resistance. And with today's candle, we're already seeing rejections to the upside. So what this was essentially meaning, and now we can't say anything based on this current candle, just the candles that are confirmed as this closed at midnight last night, GMT. Um, and of course, right now we've got 10 hours of the day left. So it looks like as if it went the way it did not want to go first to trick people market manipulation go up and then go the way that we want to go however it's not confirmed this can still end up a green candle we could still end up over here but that's what i'm seeing at the moment but i'm just letting you know this is unconfirmed the three previous candles are confirmed and they are showing us rejections. So with that being your tallest one i need to see a close above that now for this continued push into well, it's only a dollar above it, 134 or 142. You need to see closes above 133. Yeah, well, I've just showed you there's a resistance at 134. So uh, over here, so yeah, you have to get above that as well. Uh, we also were talking about this range high over here, 169, 168, 169, where this descending triangle began. Luckily enough, I was able to tell you about this whole, uh, I think 50% pump or almost 50% dump, sorry, back down to the 200 EMA. We did go down 62% very quickly but yeah we were initially calling for this 46 percent dump with not anticipating we came down low why because this is your 200 daily ema when we go to the weekly that's in the exact same spot as your 55 so we were calling ever since that massive shooting star over here this red one here we were calling that we were going to come back down to here so well done if you took that sell if you got out of corn in that and then you went, wanted to rebuy back lower but I have been warning that, yeah, we're still under these key resistances, this psychological level 150, that is this red line, but we've got a level below 134. We just spoke about that uh, over here, 134, and that's where we're slightly under. Going back to the daily time frame, we had that rejection of 133, and I just said we need to see a close above that, but because this 134 is a dollar away, you need a close above that. So this is why, what I'm trying to get at, guys, is that this is not the best tradable uh, range at the moment, just because simply even if you break a resistance, there's another resistance so close to it. So yeah, it's more, um, yeah, you just have to be patient and wait. That's what I'm personally doing because at the moment with this big dump over here that we, we managed to call by losing the weekly EMAs and the 200 daily EMA, you've invalidated this bull trend. So you need to reclaim it, the 200 EMA, and the weekly EMAs as we've done this week. But now you need to confirm them as support. Something that we did not do with this breakout, we need to confirm as support over here. And you came back under. 
So th could this be a bear trap where we now find support here and go up? My argument is that this is such a big push down that when you do come up, you will eventually get rejected. And if you're following the Bitcoin updates, which again, I urge each and every single one of you, even if you're not a subscriber yet, please do subscribe, of course. Make sure you're liking this video to bump this up so we don't have all these idiots talking about quant, saying it's going to, you know, uh, let's not talk about it. <laughs> I'm not a moon boy. I want to bring the reality. So make sure you share this, uh, share these videos out. We're almost at 5k. It would be a dream to hit 5k before the end of the year. So please help, uh, help me do so. And yeah, by bumping the algorithm, liking, subscribing, and commenting, that's how you do so. But yeah, we're essentially saying that any pump into this resistance is just going to form a lower high, lower than this high to continue lower. This is something that we've spoken about in today's Bitcoin update. And yeah, we're seeing obviously with Bitcoin's chart, it's a bit different to down here. But what's going on with Bitcoin right now? We're seeing similar setups in the past with Bitcoin. So it's showing that there's further continuation to the downside. So I'm not in denial, like you could find support just here and then we continue up. But I just do believe eventually something has to give. And uh, I think, yeah, we have to just roll over because, yeah, when you have such a big push to the downside, when you do come up, it's going to be in a W. It has to be in a bullish pattern. But you need to understand you've made such a big dip down that this bullish pattern doesn't matter. And so you should just roll over. If I see with my eyes a push above the golden pocket into the 786-188 and I see this uh, 100, it could come all the way down to 134 and I see it with my eyes, 134. After hitting 188, coming back down to 134 and then holding that support and we break 188 again, wow. Okay, I'll be the first to tell you this is bullish now. This is setting up amazingly. However, until then, I don't believe in that. I believe in this. You can actually come up all the way to the 786, lose the golden pocket, flip it back into resistance and still continue low. And we've been saying this for the good few la uh, last weeks and yeah, days and weeks on the channel just to make you aware that, yeah, there are key resistances. I want it to fly up into the moon like that, but it's just not the likely scenario with such a big dump. You correctively come up. So that means slowly, slowly, which you're seeing over here, slowly, slowly. And then you f you might have one like a momentum push with a lot of momentum. But yeah, that would be the bull trap. So maybe a push and then eventual like this. And that's where we could form this shoulder head and shoulders pattern. Of course, that would only be valid once you lose the neckline and then your targets would be the level below down here. But that's a long way into the future. We don't know which one's going to happen yet, but it's, this is the most likely one where you run into resistance and you continue lower. And then just because that is an A, B, C or whatever you want to call it, just because that's a push, exhaust, retra uh, push uh, retracement continuation, you could also say because we're looking to the left as well, that would be a shoulder, that would be a head and that would be a right shoulder. So it's a potential pattern that could be forming. But yeah, there's a lot of potential patterns. We need to see them all validated first. But first step would be let's um, see if we're going to close above this 55 daily EMA because at the moment, if we get a fourth consecutive day that that is a signal we, this is your uh, second layer of defense to push us lower we don't have to go higher than this but um again because you're now trapped between the, the 20 and the 200 here and the 55 here this is your small tight range it's a 10 dollar range so it's between 120 and 130 that we're stuck between right now. So it's a $10 range. In, last week we were stuck in a $5 range, 120, 125. We broke out of that here and we've made the range uh, body candle closes at 130. And then yeah, we, we enter this range where it was once resistance, now support over here at 120. So we're trapped between there. You're waiting to see, is it gonna close below 120? Is it gonna close above this 55? So if it, were to close as is in 10 hours it stays like this it's a shooting star that's a signal to come back down to the lows if you find support then it's a signal that we want to try and head up higher into these resistances me personally i will not be looking to trade in the next days uh, or week um, i'm just waiting to, yeah for clearer picture essentially guys wait and see if are we going to lose this coming back down if so then there is a trade down but if we find support here you're going to continue up, but there's just too many resistances here, 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 
here it's just too scary for me i don't want to put my money at risk in that in this scenario but yeah here i'm happy to trade that but not to the upside really just because again so many resistances it looks like we're coming to the end of this uh pump look we've broke out of that double bottom and that smaller inverse head and shoulders so we're on our way to the targets the targets are here but again at any of these points which is where we are now at 133 if we fail to break it there's a resistance at 134 there's a resistance at 142 there's a resistance at 150 there's a resistance at 169 so yeah that's why i need those moments if you aren't let's say you, you put in a bull trade uh it comes to support it breaks the high you're in a bull trade now and your target's up here and then what if it just goes up to 1 four two and then it goes back down so this is why for the moment i don't want to risk just because there's so many key resistance which at any moment that could be the resistance where it's like okay this is the top we're going down now so we don't know which level it is the most likely ones are your obviously your golden pocket your fib levels the zero five and zero six one eight where we can't just solely rely on that we have the of course the uh, psychological level which sent us from 150 to 400 20 plus so that's a very important level it's not fib level but it's a very important psychological uh, resistance in this case but not only that we've also got the emas that cannot be ignored guys because in an uptrend when you're holding them that's what's keeping you in an uptrend so when we're in a downtrend that's what should be keeping you in a downtrend so if we're having constant rejections here, we should be keeping in a downtrend. Do you understand? So this is why for me, I'm not looking for these bullish setups at the moment. I'm looking for bearish setups. And yeah, you, we just need a clearer picture than just this right now. As if the 20 and the 200 weren't here, I'd be more than happy. But because they are here, when you come back down, you're still going to bounce. Yes, you could bounce into resistance to continue lower. But you could bounce and break the resistance as well. So as always, yeah. So that's why I, let's just paint a clearer picture and we'll we'll see over the next days and weeks and i'll of course be here day by day but at the moment we're waiting to see that this is going to be closed as a shooting star to send us back lower towards this 20 and 200 ema at around 122 dollars thank you guys so much please like subscribe and comment share this video so there's more people watching these sorts of videos of the truth rather than people just watching the old 20x, 50x videos. Thank you guys so much. Head over to my Twitter if you want to be taught this step by step. I have a mentorship that's discounted at the moment, as well as the course that's 50% off. If you want to take action, there's a link to my Twitter down below and private message me there. Thank you guys so much. Like, subscribe and comment and peace. Check out those channel memberships.